Bangkok, the City of Angels, is a popular holiday destination, and rightly so. It has much to offer and is in many ways unique. It's affordable, warm all year round, and the people generally are honest, friendly and respectful. Accommodation is plentiful and wide-ranging whether you're a backpacker looking for a dormitory bed or aspire to something more upmarket. The Mandarin Oriental and Peninsula are considered among the best hotels in the world. The Royal Palace is Bangkok's main attraction with its murals, monuments and beautifully decorated buildings. Even for those with little interest in architecture, the palace is well worth visiting. For those who arrive less than suitably attired, garments can be hired to cover legs and shoulders in order to display due respect in accordance with Thai culture. When entering Wat Pra Khao to see the Emerald Buddha, don't forget to remove your shoes. Bangkok has many sites of interest. Just behind the Royal Palace is Wat Po with its world-renowned massage school and enormous reclining Buddha. The gardens are not bad either. While just across the river and easily accessible by ferry is Wat Arun, the Temple of the Dawn. If you're reasonably fit and have a good head for heights, climbing the main stupa affords decent views of the Chao Phraya River. Those with the energy to reach the summit of the Golden Mountain are rewarded with a panoramic view of the Bangkok skyline. A short walk from the Golden Mountain, and indeed the Koh San Road, the giant swing is situated adjacent to Wat Su Tat, arguably one of the best temples in Bangkok. The 32 metre tall Buddha image at Wat Intra Wahan, situated about 800 metres from the Koh San Road, is worth a visit. It's said that freeing the birds here will bring you luck. And if it's luck you desire, pay a visit to the nearby Tawet Pier to feed the fish in the river. The impressive Ram of the Eighth Bridge is also located in this area. Further away to Sid, a tour of the Vimanak Mansion, the world's largest golden teakwood structure, gives an interesting insight into how Thailand's influential King Chula Longhorn lived at the beginning of the 20th century. A short walk away through the gardens is the neoclassically styled Ananda Samakom Throne Hall. Just across the road are the reasonably priced zoological gardens, which offer an opportunity to relax away from the bustle of the city. If you like shopping, there is an abundance of well-appointed malls, the main concentration being around Siam Square. The air conditioning gives a welcome respite from the heat, and it's where many tourists spend their first day in Bangkok while acclimatising. Chinatown, located in Bangkok's Yawarat district, not too far from Wat Po, is the place to visit for bargains or maybe sample some of the interesting dishes available at the local restaurants. Chatterjack operates at weekends and is one of the world's biggest markets. Go with an open mind and enjoy the experience. A word of warning though, it will almost certainly be very hot and humid. 
For those interested in culture and history, a visit to the National Museum and National Gallery will keep you amused for hours. Former silk magnet Jim Thompson's house is located close to MPK. And for something a little different, visit the Royal Barge Museum. The Kosan Road area caters mostly for backpackers and younger tourists with its inexpensive accommodation, bars and cheap food. But whatever your age, time spent experiencing the atmosphere may just turn out to be more agreeable than anticipated. Getting around Bangkok can be relatively easy and relatively inexpensive. The cheapest method of travel is by bus, but unless you can speak and read Thai, it's probably best avoided. Motorcycle taxis are useful for shorter journeys, but perhaps not for the faint-hearted, and more importantly, not always covered by travel insurance. Tuk-tuks, widely used by the locals to travel short distances, can be a fun way to get around. Always negotiate the price before getting in, though. A good and surprisingly cheap alternative to the tuk-tuk is the taxi, and there are many of them. They offer a comfortable air-conditioned means of transport with a comparatively unrestricted view. The red for hire sign is clearly shown in the windscreen. Always make sure the meter is switched on. Bangkok's slowly expanding network of metro and sky trains offers a quick, clean and modern way to travel and is a particularly good alternative at peak times when road travel slows considerably. Many of the major tourist destinations are close to the river and can be cheaply and easily reached by the numerous river taxis plying the Chao Praya. They interconnect with the Skytrain at Sapan Taksin, and like the Skytrain, offer an alternative view of Bangkok. Several worthwhile day trips can be taken from Bangkok. Many people head for Kanchanapuri to visit the world-famous bridge over the River Kwai, together with its war cemetery and associated museum. Lotbury a former capital, has some reasonable historic monuments, but more popular than the monuments are the monkeys. Hold tight to your possessions and keep your bags closed. There are several floating markets which these days are more tourist attraction than market. This one is Ampawa. Ayutthaya Another former Thai capital is easy to reach and over the years has proved to be a popular destination. Many people visit Bangkok again and again. If you decide to visit, maybe you will become one of them. <laughs>